This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. There was uh, another study done by the Guttmacher Institute, and they found that 98% of Catholic women use the contraceptions that they are told not to use by the Catholic Church. 98%. Right. So pretty much every single Catholic woman. <laughs> I was going to say, who are those two? It, there's like two percent of nuns that don't. It's like, it's really so ninety-eight percent. That's a major finding. I mean, it's not. It's like, a huge finding, yeah. but believe it or not, it's not that surprising because um, there was another study done by the National Survey of Family Growth, and they found out in two thousand two that ninety-seven percent of Catholic women use these contra contraceptions okay. uh, that are banned by the Catholic Church. Now the reason why this study is fascinating to me is the fact that these are the same people that first of all use these methods of birth control and then they turn around and say you shouldn't be using condoms. You shouldn't right. be passing out ca well, condoms no, no. on the college. The women using the birth control are not saying that because they're not allowed to say anything in the Catholic mm -hmm. Church because it's run by men who of course aren't married and don't have to worry about any of these issues. Mm -hmm. So, so to speak. The, the guys in the Catholic Church aren't necessarily okay, hypocritical. So, so what I don't, no, 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 I think you're hypocritical by even going to the church or even believing in this religion. Okay. Whoa, yeah. whoa, what, huh, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah, but you can also, no, you can I'm also not gonna argue with it. believe in the religion, which I, I, don't, I don't even know if it's hypocritical, I just don't get it. But, but yeah. you can believe in the religion, uh, and I respect that, but you don't have to, just in order to believe in that religion, in order to believe in God, you shouldn't also have these other rules that are ridiculous. You know, Look, here's, here's, here's the way I though, see it. The birth control pill was developed by a Catholic, a devout Catholic, who developed it specifically to have a natural form of birth control that would be in accordance with the Catholic Church. Natural? Mm -hmm. They considered it natural at the time because you were using um, hormones to regulate the body. And the guy who developed it did it specifically so the Pope could sign off on it the inventor of the birth control pill. Right. That's amazing that it's evolved from that. Like now all of a sudden the Catholic Church despises it. And look, what I mean by hypocritical or when I say I don't agree with women joining the Catholic Church, I, I can see why people see the appeal of Catholicism. I can see why people would want to believe in that religion. Because right? everybody likes right. to stand around for an hour every Sunday. Some people are into that. Some people believe in some of the things uh, in that Did religion. You go to church? But I what I'm sit saying around is, every Sunday. It's not much different. <laughs> <laughs> but what I wanted to say is, as a woman, if there is a religion that's pushing these morals and these rules on you that you don't believe in, then why do you waste your time following this religion? That's just what I'm, yeah. I was trying to say. Like the the birth control thing. If you know every day you go home to your husband and you or your boyfriend or your significant other and you use this form of birth control and then you go to church and it's they not tell your husband you, if it's every day. So <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go look. I think it could be your husband. It really? Could be. It could, could be. be. Yeah. If you have a good marriage, why not? Oh. Fuck's sake, people. Um. <laughs> if you don't feel like reading a book and you want to listen to it, all you got to do is go to audible.com and you can download a book onto your iPod or MP3 player. In fact, just the other day, I was listening to 1984, my favorite book. And they have over 75,000 titles to choose from. So you can get a free audiobook if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash TYT.